time. Four. Nerdgasm. Hey, what's up guys? Jerry here, aka Barnacles, and today we're going to be reading two NVIDIA Titan X cards. Because, uh, one, it's just for poor people. So obviously I'm poor people myself, so I can't afford two Titans. So I decided to come over to Kevlar Condom's house. By the way, that was his shower. Very nice, highly recommended. Although I probably should put some clothes on, huh? Never, never mind, I'm gonna put some clothes on. Hey Adam, you decent? What is it, Jerry? So, rumor has it you have a couple of Titans I can review. Fresh off the boat from a Foxconn. Wow, right from Foxconn. Ha <laughs> ha. You know, I think Jay only got one. That's yeah, I, I heard his was even sponsored. <laughs> I wish I was sponsored by NVIDIA, seriously. I'm kind of jealous. All right, so that here arrived it is. And, about uh, an hour ago. Yeah, it sure did. And you know what? I forgot Bat Knife. So we're using Milwaukee Knife. So the first thing you guys would like to take note of is there is a Foxconn sticker on this box, which means this literally has never been on a shelf of any retail outlet. It literally went straight from the assembly line into a canoe and paddled across the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> No, 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 Milwaukee knife, Milwaukee knife, no, 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 not bad knife, because you forgot. Oh, 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 there's one. Oh, it says Titan X on it. Hopefully, it's not the first one because they really screwed up the naming convention on these. This is a Titan X. The Titan X has already been created in video. What are you doing? So I guess we're calling these the Titan XP now. Thanks, Linus. For Pascal. For Pascal, the Titan XP, not to be confused with the operating system that this isn't supported in. All right, we're done with that. Okay. Look oh, I gotta take the condom off oh. the box here. Ah. Uh -uh. mm. uh. Oh, look, a, a, a papery thing. Oh, what is it? Uh, it's the support guide. <laughs> well, now I know why the box is so damn heavy. It is heavy. You could seriously club a baby seal to death with that. Ooh, backplate. Ooh, ooh, there's backplate on this? That's, uh, the Max, the Maxwell's did not have a backplate. Ah. And everybody. <laughs> it's a GeForce GTX Titan X, not to be confused with the GeForce GTX Titan oh, but, X. But, but everybody's gonna complain because there's only an eight and a six. Uh-oh. So How's it gonna get its power? How are we gonna overclock it? I don't know. Mm. So Adam, I heard that the SLI bridges on these things are pretty slow. Isn't it just gonna bottleneck the card? eBay, 300 Ooh. bucks. Brand new one, it says HB. It's an High HB. Bandwidth. Yeah, so that, I guess that solves all our problems. Yeah, all right. these are uh, super rare. Uh, yeah. They retail for 40 bucks. Uh, I say we, uh, we get rid of that uh, 1070? Yeah, that 1070 is clearly for four people, but just to be clear, the 1070 is only in there because your old Titans are yeah. going in the wife's new machine. Yeah, the, the wife gets the Titans. So his wife has a better computer than, than I do. SLI Titan Maxwell's. That kind of makes me sad again. 120 gigs of RAM even in that thing. I kind of feel like I'm just teasing myself at this point, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. So this is a Puget Systems build. You'll probably notice other than the stickers, it looks almost identical to William. Except for this one's called Wilson, and it's slightly better in ev every single way. You even put oh, one of your giant stickers on my case. Oh yeah, no, but, I put a small one on your case. Only yeah. like a, well, it's not as big as yours. Ladies. But. See, look, we show you here on Barnacle's Nerdgasm, the nitty gritty, the whole process of taking them out of the box and bragging, all the way to installing them into the computer incorrectly several times and not editing it out, and benchmarking them. And out she goes. Ooh, look GTX. at that. So that's a, that's a 1070, 1070 right there, right? So if you want to hear, here, we'll, then, give you a, we'll give you a comparison here. Um, the way that you can tell them apart is the obvious color and the fact that it, one says GTX 1070, the other one says Titan X. It's but now I'm gonna get my Titans confused. Yeah, you are. If I just leave my Titans on the shelf, how am I gonna know? Because they both say Titan X. It's very confusing, NVIDIA. Could you please next time call it something like maybe, somebody had a great idea on Twitter. They said call it the Titan the TI-10. Already... Titan, 1080 <laughs> TI-10. NVIDIA, you guys dropped the ball on that one. That was like low hanging fruit. So, but uh, I still have the box for that 1070, Jerry. Oh wow, so, and you're probably never gonna use it again because that's a poor people graphics card, so what are we gonna do with it? We're giving it away. No, am I eligible? Your family, sorry. So if you want Kevlar condoms, very own, one at PDX land, 1070, how they enter? Well, I'm glad you asked because I have this giant freaking thing you printed out that I didn't read before I'm holding it, so hopefully I don't have to get flagged. Ah, well, hopefully uh, uh, somebody actually reads this. 
Used once for one day. U.S. residents only must follow the directions. Void where prohibited. Read carefully. Winner is responsible for any state or local taxes. Contest ends in 48 hours after this video goes live on YouTube. Draw will be random by a third party. Must be 13 years old or older. No information will be saved or maintained after the contest is finished. Winner will have 24 hours to respond to a direct message on Twitter or provide information via email to an address provided. If not, the draw will resume again. Losers must accept losing and not hold any ill will towards the host of this giveaway. Send all complaints to your mama. Many will enter, one will win. And then you gotta, you gotta send that hashtag. Yeah, the hashtag's pretty obnoxious. I think you learned that from me. Oh yeah, and, and then read read the hashtag carefully if you haven't been paying attention. Read the hashtag. Because if one character is wrong and this card doesn't get given away, I, I get it by default. There's no port covers on this, NVIDIA. Quality control, come on, tisk tisk. All right, so the next step is we need to install these in this beautiful system and uh, get the taste of that 1070 out of its mouth. So let's go ahead and put this into slot numero uno. I'm so nervous, I don't want to break these because they're not mine. I've never had this much trouble getting something in the hole before, Graham. Come on, Jerry, you can do it. <sighs> That's what she said, too. Oh, yeah. doesn't that doesn't that Titan look lonely in there, Adam? Seriously? I feel like there needs to be something next to it. Like, why would anybody just review that? Like, oh, oh, wait, wait I got another one. See, that looks much more symmetrical now. Come on, find a hole. Get in a hole. Oh, 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 I heard a click. I heard a click. It's been so long since I've had to do this. Uh, did, you, did you torque them down? I'm going to, you plug okay. in the power headers. All right, we're gonna plug in the power here. Nice and all gathered together from the last install, so I literally don't have to do any of that poopy cable management stuff that I'm not good at. Oh, Puget does such a good job with... The cable management? All totally. of it. Yeah. Oh, I finally met Houston. Yeah, I know, the beard? The beard. He is the beard. There's gonna be some uh, beard hair in the wife's system. I think he's doing the build. That sounded really wrong there for a second. <laughs> Building computers is all about getting it in the hole and being gentle. Because if you're not gentle, you'll break things and then they won't work for you anymore. Bridge. Oh, that's what we're missing. Oh, what is this? Oh, is this one of those high bandwidth bridges? Look at that. That thing's actually made better than... I know, this is actually like <laughs> built better than the graphics cards. <laughs> All right, here we go, here we go. Put on correctly. I'm shaking, man, I'm shaking. Wind up all four ports. Really, it looks, that looks good. Ooh, sexy. Damn, that looks sexy. Actually, that looks nice. Yeah, you better get in here and B-roll that, Graham. Come on, get over here. I'm gonna have to do a window. So Adam, you think it's gonna start up? Will it post? Will it post? I don't know, it says no signal, bro. Uh, we should explain that this is a server board. This is <laughs> so a this, server this board. is why this takes forever. <laughs> this, this is the hell Jerry goes through every time he has to restart his machine. It's it true. takes like, Six hours. It's true. If you want to go Xeons, this is just the pain you live with. Will it post? Woo! Look at that. First try. Just just a little bit of RAM. First try. Yeah, it was 128 gigs of RAM. Just a little bit of an SSD RAID. Those are Co just a couple two teras. Two teras in a RAID. Hey, I had to pay for mine. That's true. You did. You did. The logo that lets us know everything's going to go horribly wrong in several seconds. Windows 10, the operating system. You need GTX Titans just to use the desktop. And to be clear, we're not on the uh, annual update yet. No annual update. So we're going to get at least 40 more frames per second in all the benchmarking today. All right, let's check this driver version that we got on here. We think we're rocking the latest as of this review. August 2nd, 2016, version 369.05. Good enough for me. All right, so we're about to run the 3D Mark Time Spy benchmark, which is Direct X12. We just got the drivers loaded. We have done no testing at all other than getting to the desktop. But we've actually got the cards correct. They're clocking correct. They're clocking Zenons correct. Are... They're in SLI. We checked SLI. Everything is good to go here. So this is the first benchmark, good, bad, or otherwise. Let's do it. Oh, fuck. We're doing 85 frames per second. That's 85 frames per second in Time Spy. This is nuts. One thousand three hundred and ninety-seven is the final score. But we have a validation warning. Oh, graphics cards are not recognized. Graphics card driver is not approved. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't even know the graphics card driver because it literally just dropped. What was it yesterday? Yeah. This one, yeah. So here is Time Spy on. This is overclocked. Yep. This is overclocked on dual Maxwell Titans, and this is Time Spy without an overclock on our generic VGA driver <laughs> on on Pascal. So that's kind of the interesting thing about these cards is that, you know, the 1080 versus new Titan Pascal is it's Titan Pascal has more cores at a slower clock. Gotcha. 1080 has 
fewer cores, a thousand fewer cores, something like that, but at a higher clock. So now it's truly the whole myth that we've been playing with, with, with Xenons versus consumer graphics and everything else of uh, core, core count versus clock speed. Yeah. What's better? Yeah. More cores or higher clock? Uh, it depends on how good the developer is at multi-threading. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we're going to run the benchmark that everybody does, and this is Fire Strike Extreme. This is going to be the most common benchmark, so hopefully people can relate their scores to it. Uh, let's see what two brand new Pascal Titan Xs can do with this bad boy. Again, reminding you, we have no overclock on these. These are just installed the new drivers. Today, put them in the box. There have been no tweaking. There have been no optimizations. We haven't done anything to try to maximize what the benchmark can do. This is literally just pop it in, load drivers, and go. Let's see what we get. Load those scores. Close. 18,000. 21, 465. So there we go. Graphics card score. 24,000. That, that's the score that we're caring about, though. You want to zoom in on that one? Yeah, let's see here. That's crazy. That is mental. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So, we, so we went up 10,000. So you went from a 28,000 to a 38,000 in the yeah. graphics score. That's a massive improvement. When you're talking top of the line cards, that's gargantuan. This is one year. Yeah. One year, 30%. That's kind of crazy. All right, so we did some benchmarks, la-di-da, but what really matters is uh, the actual gaming performance, even though this technically isn't a gaming card, but come on, gotta play some Doom. It's not a gaming card? Well, that's what they say anyways. Oh, so let's uh, go in and show the settings, because we have to do that, right? Oh, yeah. Because everybody's going to call us a liar on everything we do. So this there we the go. Internet. There's the monitor resolution. V-Sync's off. 3440 right. by 1440. God, that's that's one of those Predator monitors. Oh, dude, that's sick. And actually, something's wrong because we're stuck at 60. It might just be these menus. If we're yep. Sometimes it'll get stuck in game. So we're running Vulcan. So then these are the key things. We're on ultra the whole way, except we're on nightmare for shadows and we're on nightmare for texture settings. And that's as hard as you can get this game to run. Awesome. So 120, 130 frames per second at that resolution. At nightmare. nightmare. That's insane. Dude, that is freaking epic. Honestly. Yeah, that's You're playable. 150 plus frames per second. That is just mad. On nightmare. On nightmare of Vulcan settings. You know what? I don't think that this game has uh, enough detail to really push the GPU. So what do you say we open up Counter-Strike Source? You want to go over and play some Source? Yeah, we should probably play some Source, because I heard that Source is really, really hard on your GPUs. All right, to push a graphics card, you really need to use Counter-Strike Source. This is just, this is, this is, oh, wow, really? 430 frames per second? Everything on. Wow. Except, uh, 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 what's it called, um... Anti-aliasing? Anti-aliasing. Okay. So yeah, I'd say 430 frames per second's playable. I think that's definitely playable. You think? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do it. Do, do we want to just change all of Valve's numbers poorly? Yeah, all yeah. their numbers are going to get cut in half instantaneously? That's fine. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, Valve. All right, so I guess it wouldn't be a benchmark unless we ran Haven, too. I mean, there's a ton of benchmarks, but this is one of the more popular ones that you see people running. So let's go ahead and see what uh, two Titan X... P's for Pascal could do to this bad boy. At 3,440 by 1440 on everything max. Yes, please keep that in mind. The, res the resolution that we're running at is insanely is high. It's 5 megapixels. Most people that benchmark this benchmark it on like a 1080p panel. Which will be 2 megapixels. Yeah, so. Yeah, see, we're already th throttled. We're sitting right there at our thermal throttle. What's the temperature? Uh, 87C. Wow, we're hitting 87C on one of the cards. We can run that up, and it would be a much better benchmark. Yep, and the fans are particularly loud on these cards, but that's to be expected for something like this. Yeah, I think I think officially you can call yourself a relatively future-proof graphics card with two. <laughs> with two. I think you're safe, Pascal. I think you're safe. The SLI scaling seems to be working rather well. well we're over our moder We're over our panel rate, anyways. Yeah. So that's all we care about, right? True. <laughs> Everything over your panel rate is just thrown away. <laughs> Wasted CPU cycles.
So a score of twenty eight ten at one hundred and eleven point six frames per second. With, but that min is what's that min's kind of the only issue that I'm having. Yeah, and you might see, you might think that's a low score, but again, remember this is at thirty four forty by fourteen forty. Oh yeah, with with eight times yeah, AA. Yeah, eight AA enabled and everything. And then yeah. everything. All right, so other than the VRAM reporting being wrong on the screen, you can see all of the settings that were used in the resolution. So if you guys want to take a crack at posting your own scores below, make sure you include anything that's changed from this because, I mean, we'd love to see what you guys are hitting, but this is an absolute remarkable score if you take into account the screen that this is on in the resolution. I can say that this is an insane setup. I mean, this is absolutely insane, and I want it. Can I have it? You can buy your own. Oh. So we are seeing that we are thermal throttling here. You can see that the first card is being impeded by that second card. It is, because they're in incredibly close proximity when we installed them earlier. We're not doing this in an open chassis. It's actually in a closed-in case. Uh, so, so it's kind of to be expected. But the goal is for you is you're going to get a different bridge so you can spread the cards out more. And I have it ordered. So, I have so, that So once that ordered. comes, that's going to increase the scores too. So there are some things limiting the potential of the scores in this video. But still, I, I find them absolutely amazing. But this is a real world bench. It is. This is, this is a real production system though. This is not, Correct. you know, somebody's little test bench rig. Okay, so that's a score of 4,878 with a frames per second of 193. And that's at 1920 by 1080. So still, anybody can run that. Yeah, 8x AA, still on Quality Ultra, still on Tessellation Extreme. So that's one that everybody can run that don't have one of these fancy Predator screens that Adam has. Oh, and one last time, don't forget about the contest that was in the middle of this video. I'm not putting anything down in the video description. So if you guys want to enter that contest, you're just going to have to use that pause button and try to look at that sign and figure out everything to enter just because, I don't know, it seems like the kind of mean thing to do. All right, guys, well, that pretty much wraps up our video today. Testing out Kevlar Condoms, awesome new GTX, Titan X, Pascal series graphics cards in this computer. We're seeing a frame rate improvement of about 100% over the previous generation Maxwell cards, which is just absolutely hard to wrap my mind around. There is a lot of stuff that he could do to improve these benchmarks, such as overclocking the cards further and changing their placement in the case once he gets his new SLI bridge so that he can overclock the cards further and he's not hitting that thermal throttling. But all things said and done, and a real world scenario where we just pop some graphics cards in the side of this beautiful Puget Systems build. Everything looked amazing. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm really on the fence now about actually dropping some of my own coin to get a pair of these cards to throw in William because I'm getting really sick of this Adam guy having better shit than I do. Seriously, I'm just kind of kind of done with it, to be honest. It's pissing me off. So Adam, can I at least keep one of the boxes? God, this is brutal, man. I hate reviewing other people's stuff. I really do, it's so frustrating. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot. Also come over to Twitter. I'm at Barnacles. I'm a real social guy. Also, if you have a couple of minutes, check out some of these many other videos. I made them myself. <laughs>